Guten Tag, ich heiße Hisatsu Fav. For those of you who do not know German, hello, my name is Hisatsu Fav. And this is the um, Bokal Subcom Knife, Bokal Plus Socom Knife. And um, before I get started on the review, I'd like to get some stats out of the way. The blade length being uh, um, 1 and uh, 7 eighths, eighths inches long and being 1 16 inches thick and it weighing about uh, 2.5 ounces being uh, the overall length being four and a half inches long this is a tiny knife at least to me it's a small knife um, I don't know other people who are not used to carrying big old knives this might be a big knife but to me this is a small knife um, while I've been carrying it I've noticed a couple things about it one there is no way to flick this knife out. It's one-handed opening, but you can't flick it out. And two, even though it has dual thumb studs, and it has um, reversible up and down, tip up and tip down carry, it is not ambidextrous. It's for right-handed uh, carry only, which I think that could have been a very easy fix. Um, at least make it a three-way uh, carry, but... Um, that's just two things that I noticed that stood out to me the most. And thirdly, if you grip the knife real tight and use this as what they have under, they have this knife under the subcategory tactical knife. I do not consider this a tactical knife. It's more of an EDC money clip knife. Um, but if you do grab this and squeeze it for real heavy cutting, it could be a little bit uncomfortable for some. Uh, but it's not a bad knife. It has plenty of jimping going all all the way around the knife. You have it um, on the back back of the handle, on the spine. You have deep um, uh, grooves um, before the thumb stud on the spine, and then um, starting midway on the uh, pocket clip, you have this final jimping. So if you want to carry it in a European or hold it in a European style grip, is good. Or Filipino, which I found to be more comfortable. I also like carrying it like this when I'm cutting up stuff, doing more precision cutting, like cutting up a steak. I've carried this to a couple of restaurants, and um, you know sometimes they don't cook the steak as tender as it ought to be. And luckily, I had a sharp knife on me. This being it, and it did a pretty good job of um, cutting up a couple of steaks. Um, I was pretty comfortable at the same time cutting knife and fork. Um, it's pretty easy to use. In, in that way, um, you do have a lanyard hole, and uh, this is designed to be a municipal friendly knife, being legal in most everywhere except if you live in one of them wheeled states like uh, New York, which I don't know the complete knife laws on there, but I know it's really strict. Uh, I also know that uh, the UK's knife laws are really strict, so I can't speak for those two places but this is designed to be small enough to carry just about everywhere um, and it's uh, made out of Aussate steel and uh, this being a German company um, they outsource this knife to Taiwan uh, so um, that's just something I also thought was funny when I first bought this knife I thought I was getting a knife made in Germany and um, it was actually made in Taiwan which is no big deal to me but I, d I did think I was getting a German made knife, but it is a German company, so I, I st that's the reason why I started in in German. Um, by the way, the German word for knife is Messel, and a knife maker is a Messelsmith. And I hope I'm pronouncing that last part w right, Messelsmith, like uh, knife smith. But um, anyways, I know my German friends will correct me. Um, and uh, like I said this is a great EDC knife you can use it as a um, money clip I got um, some paper right here I'm going to fold up and see if I can get this in frame or if I have to bring it up here there you go you can use it as a money clip hold your money you can still have your money in there and open it and use it which I don't really recommend because you don't want to be flashing your money but it is an option 
Um, and that's about it. Um, uh, there's many variations of this knife. Well, not many, many, but there are several variations of this knife. They have um, the kind of a claw-shaped blade. They have a Wooncliffe blade, I believe. They even have one that's a lot like the Black Hawk Hawk Hook, where it has more of a strap-cutting hook with some serrations right here. And it's uh, made to be a not-a-knife knife, if you will. It's not really a knife blade, but it's me meant for... Um, cutting straps and um, you know auto use and um, that's the other good use for this knife is to put it on your seat belt so if you ever have to use it it's right there on your seat belt but um, let's see I make sure I didn't miss anything okay and, uh, yeah I think I've covered just about everything but they uh, make several variations one being the strap cuddle and um, or the V cuddle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, another one being like a claw, Walton Cliff shape blade. They have different colors. The handle is FRN, and for those of you who do not know what FRN is, it's fiberglass reinforced nylon. Spadalco uses it a lot, and um, it is a frame locking knife. That means the frame is part of the locking mechanism. You just use your thumb to push it to the side to close it. And, um, you know, pretty much the lock is pretty much as strong as your grip uh, in most frame locking knives. Um, I don't see this failing on you. It's a small knife, it's meant for small cutting jobs, and it performs that role um, quite well. I'm a Satsu 5, a Fetal Zine. I am out.